uh, for 2000 AV. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so in the previous parts, you would have seen me penciling uh, this A4 picture of Kane from scratch, from wireframe to what you see is here. Okay. And what I've done is I've taken this pencil, as I might have mentioned before, scanned it, and printed it out on this A3 piece of paper, or it's Bristol board actually. Um, and I've printed it in cyan, so blue line printed it. And cyan is obviously um, when you're scanning inks, uh, is non reproductive. So, uh, yeah, I'll be inking this. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. It's time to ink it. So, I normally start off by finding somewhere safe to ink. This is a brand new Pentel Touch Pen, which at the moment I'm favouring. I don't have a last year. Um, I like them because they have really, really, really fine nibs. But in the same stroke, you can actually um, create thicker, thicker lines. So, really good stuff. A little bit at the moment. What I'm probably going to do is, is um, for the next segment, I'm probably just going to go to um, just a film of me drawing this. Um, if possible, I might speed it up a little bit. Um, I will put um, background music on it. See whether I can suss out the software that I have to do that. Shaman Kane <coughs> is a magic user, so as I mentioned before, um, he, he hunts down um, 11 supernatural entities, and um, in this picture here he's casting a, a, a sigil or a rune cast, um, obviously to take down the foe that's in front of him that we can't see. So what I'm doing here is leaving little gaps where the sigil is around, so hopefully I'll be able to pick those little gaps out in white. Um, I suspect I'll probably end up using a bit of process white. Um, anyway, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, uh, please click like on the video and maybe even consider subscribing to 2000 Amy. See you in the next part. Bye-bye.